This video is sponsored by Nawal. So as we all know, with robot vacuum cleaners, especially the original models that use rubber sweepers and bristles, that they become like this, a big mess, right? They tangle up and eventually stop working. Now we have models that use now silicon brushes for the main brush that are this style, but that just moves the hair down to either end and eventually it clogs up and it gets stuck and stops working. But Nawal with their Frio X Ultra finally has a proper solution to it. So they've got a zero tangling floating brush here. So it's tangled free, in fact, certified by SGS and to Ryland as being proper tangle free. And I can confirm it actually does work. So it's single sided. The bristles are aimed at 50 degrees, the angle of them, and they move their hairs down and suck them into the dustbin so they don't get tangled up in the brush. So finally, we've got a solution to that problem. Now the bags in this, are very good because they're auto empty bags that are within the robot vacuum itself. So they're one liter bags. So instead of going back into the station and emptying out and being very loud, it's all done within the robot. It also compacts the dust in there so it can last up to seven weeks and it will dry it for 45 minutes so you have no smells and kills all the bacteria. Suction performance with the Frio X Ultra is very good at 8,200 PA, so it's really powerful. We've got mop lift with its triangular mops that leave no gaps in the middle. The mop lift is 12 millimeters, and those mops, they apply 12 newtons of pressure, and they spin at 180 RPM. It's got a LiDAR 4.0 navigation. In fact, it's tri-laser navigation. The side, the front, and then the top mapping is accurate. It's fast. It's very good, and it can detect where areas are dirty. AI dirt sense, so it can see that a floor is a little bit dirtier than normal, perhaps like a kitchen, detect that from the dirty water, go back and re-mop it until it's satisfied it is clean if you use the AI sense mode to clean. So this model, as you see in this video, has got a lot of newer tech in there, and especially that tangle-free performance, which a lot of us are looking for in a robot vacuum cleaner. So just what do Nawal include in the box? Well, you do get two additional one liter disposable dust bags. Now those are antibacterial. They're also allergy resistant. There's one already pre-installed inside the robot vacuum. So we've got three in total and they can last, as I mentioned, up to seven weeks. We get a floor washing solution, the two side sweeper brushes, power cable, and then the dustbin if you wanted to use that if you did run out of those disposable one liter bags. Now this dustbin, as you can see, is clear. I do like that, so you can easily see how full it really is. And emptying it very easy, simply just press here on the blue tab and then the bottom does fall out and you can empty it that easy and quick. Now the filter of it is two stage. There's a very fine mesh inside here. And then we have our washable, removable filter here on the back of it. Now the Frio X Ultra does have a tri-laser setup. So we've got our front laser, and this can detect objects that are larger than one centimeter. So common things like shoes, children's toys, cables, it will be able to detect those and avoid them. LiDAR navigation at the top, and then it has its side laser. So that's why it's got the three lasers there in the total. So the side one here is so it can detect and get as close as possible to walls to get the closest clean that it can with those mops. Along the back, there are two charging contact points there for when it goes in the dock to charge and also clean those mops. And the lid of this can easily be removed. So you just need to pull up here from the back. It's held in place with magnets. And this is where you can then access the QR code for pairing it with the application and to remove that disposable one liter dust bag. It's very easy. You just simply need to pull that up and then you can throw that into your rubbish once, of course, it's completely full. And as I've mentioned a few times, it can last up to seven weeks depending on your household. Then looking at the underside, we've got a 360 degree wheel at the rear. Now triangular design for the mops. This ensures that there's uh, no gaps that it's gonna leave. So they are overlapping there. They're made out of microfiber and they're white in color. So you can easily tell when they are dirty and you need to replace them or further clean them. But of course it does have a dirt sense built into it where it will detect the dirty water and go back and remop areas. Now they're easy to remove. You just simply pull up on them. They're held in place with magnets and there is Velcro just behind us. So when you do need to replace them, it's very easy to pull them off and put the new ones back on there. And then putting them back on to the Frio X Ultra, very easy. Again, with the magnets, they just pop into place there. 
Then our suction performance, if you missed that in the intro, well, it's 8,200 PA. That's really powerful. And then the auto clean station. So this is where it's going to go back and clean out those mops, scrub them clean, add the detergent, and you've got the dirty and clean water tanks, which are very easy to access from the top. You simply need to lift up the lid. You've got it clearly labeled your clean water with a blue tank, and then your wastewater is the clear tank. And I really do like this, that we've got a very large, nice, round, clear color screen on the top. So this is where you can issue commands to get it to return home and get it to clean the mop, start and stop the clean as well. And it's all touch controls here. So you don't even need the application to do all of this stuff, which is very handy to have. So I can press now and it will start to then wash those mops. The washboard area is very easy to remove and clean for maintenance. You just simply need to pull it out. You've got access then to the washboard area and then the catchment tray underneath. So very easy to wipe that out when needed. And this is our application, which is called Narwhal Frio. So you can get this for Apple if you happen to be using iOS and Android, which I'm currently using a Galaxy S23 Ultra. So when you log in, you get a view of its current status, drying the mop. You can see here the remaining battery life, which is at 100%. And it will go for 210 minutes up to, you can see where it is cleaned last. And yes, you do get notifications too as well. That's on by default and you can turn those off if you didn't want to have the notifications. So the map, I can also view this in 3D. I can edit this map too as well. It can detect different four types. And if I wanted to do so as well, I can add up to four different levels. If I happen to have say a basement, first, second and third floor, well you can cover all of that and save it within the application here, which is very good. Now you can just start cleaning right now. I'll get out of this and just show you the main screen. So this is where you first log into it and you've got your different modes. So you can set this up to be in the Frio mode, which is using their AI dirt sense. So that will go along and detect areas that are dirty, go and then clean them again, according to just how dirty that water is from the mopping. You can set how many times you want to do that. The performance can go all the way up to the very super powerful mode, uh, which is the 8,200 PA. Uh, the humidity of that mop, and then it's cleaning, which can be meticulous or standard and you can get it to just vacuum first, then mop, vacuum or only mop, customize that too as well. There are a lot of different options and you can do it by area, by room, and I'll show you finally all the other different settings. I won't go through everything here, but they do push through firmware updates. You've got some settings there for the edge mode where it will go along and keep moving around to get into those edges when it mops just a little bit better. I put that on all the time just to get that clean, and that was mostly for my footage that I was uh, filming too. High altitude mode too for that is possible. Pet mode, stillest mode, base station options, so silent drying, strong drying. Normally it will go on the default for 45 minutes to dry out the dustbin to ensure that it doesn't smell, kills all bacteria, and your default mode there too you can set and to automatically add that cleaning detergent. So there is a lot in there, it's a fully featured application that Noel has. And then on to how it does clean. So the mapping, like most other models that you can get out there, will do a quick map first. And the quick mapping, will go into each room, map it out, come back to the station, then you can edit the map, you can decide what you want to do, the different cleaning modes, and save up to four different levels too, which I showed you with the application just before. So it goes around the edges first, zigzags, goes in between things, gets under beds, around furniture. Pretty standard, right, for LiDAR, which is very accurate in its mapping. And it has been maintaining the house really nice and clean, going around mopping. And again, when I looked at the main brush after a week of cleaning, uh, the result really did shock me that there is absolutely zero hair in that main brush they talked about in the intro. So it finally works, which is great. So my vacuuming test, I laid down some cornflakes, dust, dirt, a lot of long hair, some short cat hair, and just set it at it on the vortex mode. So this is maximum suction performance. And I let it have two goes. You can see the first go, it got almost everything. Second go, going over it all in the other direction. Very good at picking up all the hair. And it got almost everything. I would say a good 98%. You can see on closer inspection, there was a tiny bit of thread that was quite stuck on this mat on this carpet here that it didn't manage to lift up. So it was really only like one or two little things. 
So that's fantastic cleaning performance. Thanks to the 8200 PA, of course, of suction performance it does have. And you can see inside the dustbin, I didn't use one of the disposable ones, I used the clear one here that it does also come with, just to show you how it compacts all of that dust in there. You can see it's got all the hair in there, it pushes everything down to one side, and this is how it can compact in there, and it, depending on your household, last up for seven weeks of dust there. I've got a lot of hair in the house because I do have three ladies and some cats, so it's kind of normal for me that I'd have to do this, empty it probably after every two weeks or so. But you can see it in action there and it picked up everything. So the results speak for themselves. And if you're using, of course, the one liter removable dustbins, the ones that you just throw away, the disposable ones, then you simply just lift that out and put that all into the bin. Then the mopping performance with those microfiber triangular mops, so they don't leave a gap in the middle because they overlap each other, which is very good. And my test here with the white tiles, so that is a tablespoon of what is just dirt and coffee mixed together that I spread out onto those tiles, let it set and dry so it's very stubborn. And with the Noel here Frio X Ultra, it goes along scrubbing that ground at 12 Newton meters and 180 RPM they're spinning at. You can see first go, very good, left a little bit, but again I give these vacuums two attempts at the very stubborn stain there. And when I went over it again, it got everything, which is excellent, really good. Uh, those specs that I'm pointing out now, there's about three or four of them. Those are actually little chips in the tiles, which are always going to be there, of course. And then those mops, this is what they look like there before, and then it's going to go back now into our station to clean those mops. And I'll give you a sample of what it sounds like when it is cleaning them, which is going to be rinsing them out, scrubbing them, and eventually dry them. And here is the after result. You can see that the white mops are looking a lot cleaner, but around the outer edges, I think my clean with the coffee has stained them a little bit. So that's understandable being coffee and being white microfiber that you can see a little bit of it. But otherwise, it did clean those mops really well. And judging from just how dirty the full dirty water tank was, there's a lot of muck in there. When you empty that out, you just notice that that water is a little bit brown. There's all sorts of little bits of dirt caught in there that not even the standard vacuuming was picking up as well. So that's excellent. Then how did the Frio X Ultra handle a little bit of obstacle avoidance? So in this example here, I laid out some shoes, a toy and a cable. And you can see that the Frio X Ultra did go around and detect those objects. As long as they're over one centimeter, the size of them, then the Frio X Ultra will not have a problem in detecting those and avoiding them. It's all up, an excellent robot vacuum cleaner that pretty much covers it all with that AI Dirt Sense Vortex suction performance at 8200 PA. My favorite is the zero tangling brush that is a floating brush, single sided, no hairs in it whatsoever after a week of using and testing this out is absolutely fantastic. Mopping performance, very good at 180 RPM, applying 12 Newtons of pressure. It also has edge swings, so it swings those mops around to get a more thorough clean closer to the edges as you'd expect. Fully featured application, you can save up to four different levels. Customization with your maps, you can set up no go zones, no vacuum areas. It really does offer a lot, and the biggest for me is that just tangle-free aspect of it, meaning you don't even need to go near it, and the auto cleaning station too as well, and to remove those disposable one liter dust bags is another bonus there, so you're not having to empty out or touch any of the dust, debris, and dirt, or whatever that these robot vacuums do collect. So thank you so much for watching my video here on the Nawal Frio X Ultra.